What's going on YouTube? It is Nightfire back here with a brand new video. If you missed my previous video, that was me talking about some Black Ops 3 DLC rumors. I kind of go on a rant. Just please check it out. It's in the link in the description down below. But today we're going to be talking about some Fallout 3 DLC speculations, as well as some uh, buildings, random structures in the ocean that are related to DLC for Fallout 4. So let's get right into it, guys with our first article from GameSpot. Now they did an arc on this guy who was wandering the waste, wandering near a shoreline, had his power armor and murderer cakes ready for some reason. Well, uh, he had that power armor because it's pretty awesome. And I don't know why about the murderer cakes, but anyway, he was killing raiders at a camp near a shoreline. He decided to, for some reason, after he killed the raiders, explore this ocean. After quite some time deep in the ocean he found a building a large bronze structure that seems to be some, some sort of pumping or water filtration filtration structure has a working light but not cannot be entered it cannot be entered this sounds to me this could be our first DLC spot now you may think I'm crazy but I'm gonna tell you why I'm not crazy so let's go back in time a little bit fall of New Vegas December 21st, 2010, Sierra Madre DLC was released. The only way you could get into or start up the DLC was to go to the Brotherhood of Steel abandoned bunker, enter it, start up the quest. Back a little bit further. Remember New Vegas coming out? I remember. Remember going I remember going to the Brotherhood of Steel abandoned bunker a couple days later. It said that you needed a key. I looked on the web for key locations, there were none, people didn't know, Com console commands couldn't work, for some reason they added a random uh, thing in the game that you couldn't even enter. A month later, uh, Sierra Madre comes out and the only way you can activate the quest is by going into the Brotherhood of Steel abandoned bunker. Now what this structure is telling me is that it's locked up until the first DLC will be released and then somehow you have to enter it for the first DLC for Fall 4 to start. Now that's my opinion, that is my speculation on this random structure and how our DLC will be started. When will the DLC be released? Well, Operation Anchorage for Fall 3 was released January 27th of 2009, Fall 3 of course being released in October 2008. So my opinion on that again will be Fall 4's DLC the first DLC pack will be released in January of 2016. Now again, December 21st, 2010, the first DLC was dropped for Fall of the Vegas in December 2010, but uh, not even in 2011. So there's two sides to this. This could be just a random piece of crap structure or a DLC spot. Our DLC could be released this month or next month. I don't know guys, you decide in the comments down below, I know I don't, I don't get any comments on the on my videos I make, but if you have an opinion, please, please say it in the comments, also leave a like if you like my decent commenting skills, hopefully I'm getting better, probably not, but one day I'll just be really good at commentating, and um, if you enjoyed my videos and want to support a young channel like mine, please subscribe, it'll help a lot. But anyway, YouTube, if you enjoyed, do all those things. This has been a Fallout 3, Fallout 4, sorry, speculation video by Nightfire. Remember, YouTube, make the right decisions in life, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Love you guys. Big things are happening in 2016 for this channel and for myself. So stay tuned. Please keep watching and support.